Happy Thursday. Phil Lindemann with your midday news on Crystal 93. A former employee at Breckenridge Golf Club is charged with multiple felonies for allegedly stealing $44,000 on credit card swipes. The Summit Daily reports 31-year-old Ryan Malstadt, an assistant golf pro, was stealing $1,000 to $2,000 at a time through fraudulent refunds. Earlier this month, Malstadt turned himself in and confessed the whole plot to cops. He's in court next month. Dozens of fish died in the Vail area this past weekend, and a Vail Mountain snowmaking tank is the prime suspect. The Vail Daily reports Colorado Parks and Wildlife is investigating after fish were found floating in Gore Creek and Mill Creek. Officials confirm Vail was flushing its snowmaking system. Testing will determine what exactly was in the tanks. It gave the water a bluish tint. Colorado and XL Energy want you to get an electric car, and they'll pay you to do it. Paul Johns with Excel at a test drive event in Frisco yesterday. In Colorado, we just opened up Accelerated Home. It's $13.30 a month to rent a level two charger from us. Plus we offer a $500 wiring rebate. So if you're wiring your home, we have up to a $500 rebate for that. Former county commissioner and electric vehicle owner, Karn Stiegelmeyer, explains how rebates cut the cost of her brand new Nissan Leaf in half. Federal tax rebate, you get that on your taxes. And then right off the top, I got $5,000 off the price from the state and $2,500 off the price from Excel. So it ended up costing me $15,000. But is it worth it trading gas for electric? Tesla owner Paula of Breck. It started out as my um, moral obligation. I felt like I needed to go electric, and then in the end, it was the fun of it. We talked with a half dozen EV owners who agreed the one drawback is road tripping. Most models cannot go more than 250 miles on a full charge. County commissioners were talking solar power this week and possibly a solar garden at the landfill. Sustainability coordinator Michael Wurzel. There is potential on the landfill for several reasons due to its relatively lower snow loads, its southerly aspect, and the fact that it's undevelopable for potentially other projects. But county manager Scott Vargo warns, we have been here before. We've identified locations at the landfill only then to find that we needed to use that land at the landfill for something else that was landfill related. Commissioners are still interested in a project there, hopefully partnering with the school district or a town to foot the bill. The fifth edition of the Summit Biz Boot Camp is taking applications now. Facilitator Amy Kemp. It's just really truly a win-win-win situation where they get the skills, they get this built-in accountability group and support group, and they get this network that's going to help them to survive and thrive after the program. Biz Boot Camp has helped local designers, dentists, yoga studios, jerky shop owners, and more at a cost of $50 apiece for a nine-week program. Learn more and sign up through summitchamber.org. In sports, the Rockies beat the Dodgers last night 10-5. to The Rockies and Dodgers wrapped their final series of the season today in about one hour at 110. And in local sports, Summit Girls Rugby swept East High yesterday in three games to win their homecoming tournament. The girls are undefeated in 10 games this season. Today, Summit High Soccer plays Salida away. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.